at a time of concern. A Cold War saw a massive buildup of Soviet armaments. Information about these developments was part of the security of the United States and the free world. In the days before the United States relied upon the constant aircraft to gather necessary intelligence. of secrecy and working long hours, Johnson and his Lockheed crew accomplished the nearly impossible. Designated the U-2, the aircraft featured a 49-foot fuselage housing a single turbojet engine. Attached to the body was an 80-foot glider-like wing. Famed Lockheed test pilot Tony LeVere took the U-2 on its first flight in the summer of 1955. Extremely light, fragile. It was probably one of the most fragile airplanes that we had ever built at Lockheed because it had to fly at great heights, up around uh, 70,000 feet, an unheard of height in those days. Less than a year after its first flight, the U 2 began the reconnaissance work it was designed for flying highly classified missions. During one of these missions, a Soviet missile shot down a U-2 piloted by Francis Gary Pollock in May 1960. And we had a nation of our youth to defend the United States. Probably the U-2's greatest contribution to national security came in 1962. U-2s flying over Cuba brought back photographic proof of Soviet missile installations on that island 100 miles from America's shores. 